Hi, this is Richard Byrne. In this video, we're going to take a look at how you can create simple comics using Pixton, which you can find at Pixton.com. Now, I've already signed into my account here on this screen, and the first thing that we can do is we can either create a comic from scratch or we can create a character for ourselves. Let's create a character first. And we can see we can pick a male or female character. We have more options here. It could be a baby, you could be an older person. You can see the different options you have available to you. So we'll use that character. And now we'll load up some more options for customizing that character a bit. And you can see here we can scroll through and we have uh, 61 possible options here so we can do all kinds of different things with our hair color, hairstyles, you can change the shape of the head, the style of the hair itself if you want to, and you can scroll through even more. If you want to change colors you have that option and you can see we have 61 different configurations from which we can pick. And we can give ourselves a little cape there if we want to. All right, so we'll use that character for now. Now we'll go ahead and create our comic itself. Now you can use the comic strip layout, storyboard, or this graphic novel layout. And the graphic novel layout is uh, one that students particularly enjoy because uh, it's a familiar layout for them. So let's go ahead and use the comic strip here. And we can do advanced or basic. Let's do the basic to get started. And here we have a ton of different backgrounds that we can use in our comic. Now we can even use just a completely blank background if you just want to focus on the characters and not worry about the rest of the scene. Now, perhaps I'm going to go down here and I'm going to choose a ski resort. And within the ski resort, now we have even more options to use. So let's put myself on that chairlift. And one of the neat things here for students is that they can see we have a one character, two character, or three character option. And that one character option even kind of gives them the hint that the reader should be directly addressed by the character, whereas these other ones, uh, we're going to see a conversation played out. So this is going to be a monologue here. Let's do one character. Again, you can choose the character you want to use. You can use your customized character the, that we made earlier, or we can use one of these other ones here. Let's uh, use that skier guy. And now we'll put this skier into our skiing background. And so we can see that he's already been positioned to kind of uh, fit onto the ski lift itself. Now we can Customize that by you know, changing the positions here if you if we needed to. We can, as you can see, change skin colors. We can flip the character. Maybe he's going to lounge. Right. We can change his expression. We can make him uneasy or nervous up there. We can make him tired. We can make him happy. Let's make him happy. And now we have this speech bubble up here, and we can say, I love to be in the mountains. Now let's go ahead and add our next panel. And again, we could move this. We could even go in and we could change the background. Perhaps we want to use a different ski resort background. Maybe we want to put this person uh, going off the ski jump. So we'll click and drag and move him off the ski jump. And we'll 
some preset poses. Maybe we're going to have him kind of standing there. We can do all kinds of different options in our preset poses, and we can see others here. We'll make him flying off the ski jump. But we want to flip him around so he's going the right direction. There he is. And again, if I want to make him smaller, I can double click on him and I can make him a little bit smaller if I need to. Now, here we'll go in and we'll say, I love to fly off of the ski jump. Okay. And we'll add one more scene here. Again, we'll change the background and perhaps we'll use, we can even use a completely different setting for our background. We don't have to stay at the ski resort the whole time. We can even go in and we can maybe find a hospital setting uh, to show him cra after he crashed. Or we can go back here and we'll use that ski resort one more time and we'll say something like this and we'll put him in the hot tub. And we'll say after a long day, it's fun to relax in the hot tub. All right, so we've created my little three frame story here and we'll give it a title a day at the ski resort. Okay. And now we'll go ahead and publish that. And we can specify that we're doing this in English. By the way, there are there is support for a wide variety of languages using the virtual keyboard in Pixton, and we'll publish it. And if someone wanted to share that we can just share the link we could tweet it out we could put it on a classroom blog if we want to put that link down there now if we want to hit the download button you'll see that that is a service that's only available to upgraded members but everything we've done so far has been done in the free version of Pixton so that's how you can create a simple comic strip using Pixton.com for more tips and tricks like this please check out freetech4teachers.com.